if you notice the edit there, that's that was me not wanting, as much as I've, I've had to cough, I don't want to sneeze in front of everyone. I just find that a little too embarrassing. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm really not feeling great. Um, but next, next year we're also looking at, um, also not, not just that, but we're really making a push for getting a game done. And this year we've, we've played around, we've gotten a few designs up and going, we, we've mapped out a few and we've put together a few prototypes just to test and see what they should look like and how, how it would feel. And, and to really, tr that really tested us to both know what it means to put a prototype together as to, well as seeing how ideas correlate to action. Um, and now we want to try and choose a couple of prototypes and really push to make, to refine them, to go through the process of uh, deliberate practice and deliberate uh, questioning and working out working out the issues and teasing them out so that we can get them ready for publication. I think the ideal goal will be to choose a really simple um, base mechanic and and something that we're familiar with and adapt it. Um, really by at our stage, like because we've only been doing this for like less than a year really, um, we're not anywhere at a level of coming up with uh, ideas completely original and out of the box and pushing them through to publication. The smartest and perhaps wisest thing for us to do is to uh, take mechanics that we know and refine them or or change them a little or see how we can make them work. Um, it's That's both for our learning and really for creating something that others will enjoy as well, I think. So we're going to try and have a small game, which we're going to push to get to, to publication, maybe a bigger one that we'll work on as well. Um, the real hard thing, and, and this is it's kind of funny, I guess, but at the same time, really disappointing was um, we really sat down and we went, yep, we're going to do this game. We, we had this game, this wonderful uh, little game where we, we could see it was going to work, where we uh, were gardening and we had a tablet, uh, uh, our own little player mat. And the idea was to, we were using a particular uh, movement mechanic and we had these pieces which had flowers on them and they, you, you would place them in different patterns. They were sort of tetris style flower pots and you put them into your play mat and try and create certain patterns and score on the basis of what patterns and colors you match up and all that sort of thing. Um, only to then turn around and discover a game called Cottage Garden, which had just come out by Uwe Rosenberg. Now, I like this happens all the time in design, and it's not that uncommon. Uh, it's why people try and sue uh, movies for stealing their ideas when clearly the movie makers had no idea of, you know, yes, there are similarities, but the movie makers had no access to their ideas. And it's not it's not intellectual theft or anything. Um, and it's certainly nothing. Odd. It's just that one of the things with design is that often there will be a flurry of ideas that come to the fore for whatever reason. Um, something will happen in the industry and people will all get the same idea at once. And that's just normal. Um, I thought of taking patchwork and adapting it and trying to utilize some of those mechanics. Initially, I was going to make a Tetris-style game, um, but then I thought, no, no, I really like the idea of creating color patterns, and, and I thought, well, flowers would be really good for creating color patterns, and, and it just so happened that I stumbled across this idea, which Uwe Rosenberg, creator of Patchwork, had already developed, and I can't wait to play it, because I want to see how he did it. I want to see what ideas he utilized, and... Because he, he's brilliant and he's an expert in the field uh, and he's a, a thoroughly creative individual. Um, it'll just be good for me to see, oh, okay, well, we had the same idea. Um, I put something into into prototype before this game was announced and it came out. So I'm keen to see what he did. It's disappointing because I was really excited about going ahead with this game and I just don't see the viability in, in pushing forward with it now considering how close it is. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm upfront by the fact that I was inspired by Patchwork and I just thought that maybe I could do it differently, and I happened to choose the same theme as Uwe Rosenberg. Um, but I have a feeling that his will be way more refined, and he'll have way better ideas of what he's doing than what I did. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Um, the other thing then was that we thought, well, okay, well, we've, de we've developed this uh, game based on uh, sort of uh, first-person shooter uh, tournament-style games, like unreal tournament um and i had this idea of you know uh, when you kill a character they respawn 
and uh, you know you've got uh, you can get you can go around like you know how unreal you run around like things like items spawn in certain spots and so you go around and you pick them up well I had those on the board as well and and they I had a random generator for uh, determining when they spawn and which areas of the board they spawn and all sort of thing and it's this first person shooter and then I hear about adrenaline being released and it's got pretty much all these elements um, but again I, I feel there's enough different uh, that makes me go okay well maybe my game would still be viable um, but at the same time it's just interesting that someone else had the idea of doing a first person shooter board game and it'll be I'll be keen to check that out and see how they did that differently or what ideas they took took to the board game um, at this stage I feel it's very there's some similarities but I feel there's probably enough differences that I may actually still stick with creating that game or pushing it towards at least a, a level of production that I feel confident sending it off to public uh, publishers. Um, that's not to say we're going to get published. Uh, this whole thing is a learning journey for us. So it's really about us trying to make the steps of, well, how do you go from idea to conception? What inspires a design mentality or design way of thinking? Um, what in, what inspires designers? I mean, all of this came out of Mike Selinker's, uh, you know, 2015 PAX talk. So just trying to make, you know, trying to, to take our ideas and, and make them and see what we can do in terms of producing them and, and really sticking with an idea and making it work. So <clears throat> that's next year. Anyway, that's our agenda for next year. So uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to try and get well. I'm going to try and get the core mechanic out and finish off this season as best I can. Uh, I do apologize. I apologize to you guys because I know, I know we don't have a huge viewership, but it's important to me to be consistent. And I'm just sorry that this last few weeks I've not been able to do that. Um, I'm going to try and get back on track and hopefully next year with our planning, we'll be able to mitigate these issues from occurring. Um, it's all part of our learning process. But look, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for commenting. I know I've got a backlog of comments I'm going to get back on, especially Clumsy Dad, who is just amazing. Um, and he produces videos prolifically and I, I love watching his work. So if Clumsy Dad, I will get to responding to your comments and I'm going to go and check your videos out as soon as I have some time. So thank you for that. And everyone else, thank you for all your comments and, and just keeping part of the community and just helping us build this. Like we're, we're, we're not, we're doing this as part of our learning, but we love the fact that we get people who throw ideas at us and share stuff with us and, and contribute and put in their insight. It's amazing. Thanks so much. Um, love your work. I'm Dave Adams and I'm just thinking out loud.